The content editor arranges your page into rows and columns. This is important for the responsive nature of your website, as columns can be stacked on each other vertically as screen size decreases. You can move rows by opening the row menu, then selecting up or down to move the row within the page. Click Add Row to add a new row. To vertically resize a row, move your mouse cursor between a row, then click and drag to resize the row. You can add a column to a row by opening the row menu, then selecting Add Column. You can add up to four columns per row. You can resize columns by moving your mouse cursor between them, then dragging to resize. A column can only be deleted if it does not contain any widgets. If the column is empty, just click the red X to delete it. Widgets are placed inside columns and can be easily moved by dragging and dropping them into different columns or rows. To edit a widget, click to open the content editor to see content options specific to the widget you are editing. Click on the design tab to see design options such as layout, background color, and spacing. Rows and columns also have a design editor similar to widgets. Just open the row menu and click edit design to change the row background and other design options. Right click on a widget to open the context menu, where you can select additional options such as copy paste, alignment, or to hide the widget by device. All changes you make here are local changes that apply only to this widget. To change styles for multiple widgets at once, you'll want to edit the global design settings for your site. We'll cover this in the next lesson.